Thanks for staying with us. So Taraba State was in the news yesterday. Why? There was an outstanding welcome for the ex-governor, Jolly Inyame of Taraba State, who was granted a presidential pardon recently. Um, ex-governor Jolly Inyame was received by a mammoth crowd that thronged the airport to receive him while he was coming down from the plane. And obviously, many people responded and reacted to this welcome that he received, especially because he was convicted of graft or um, siphoning billions from the state for his personal use. And um, sometimes when we, when, we, when we discuss the fact that people get the leaders they deserve, these kinds of scenarios come to play when you yep. think, okay, these are the kinds of people that you deserve because it, it's, sometimes people will celebrate who they are. Hmm. But what are your thoughts on this? Because the society is made up of different kinds of people, people like that that I just described, and those who are educated, who, are, who, who, who may know better, and those who are indifferent. It's not it's your money you stole. Hmm. What's your business? Hmm. Where's your front? <laughs> so... There are different kinds of people that make up a community. What are your thoughts on this welcome he received? We've seen this before several times. Yeah. Uh, the few people that I think was doing Darie was when he was returned, when he was returned mm -hmm. home. Lots of these kinds of, I mean, so it keeps happening. So you think that we discussed it the last time, if people will learn, but nobody's listening. <laughs> you know, it keeps happening and it's going to happen again tomorrow. What are your thoughts on this? This is the reality that we face today. You can call us on 081270. 5368709139076948. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Let me start with Miriam. What are your thoughts when you saw this video? It came to mind. I mean, it's just um, for me, even before the video, I had already seen comments by people that you know are maybe family members, friends, political allies already waiting for his return. But I really did not expect that it will be a statewide fanfare, you know. And um, also what makes it more shocking, because I now started to ask, is there something that I'm missing? Did he commit these crimes? And did he, um, was he properly prosecuted for these crimes? And did he really go to prison for these crimes? And that he comes home and everybody is excited about his return as if he was... Um, as if, you know, he did not get justice, and now justice has been served by his return. Um, I had to go back, you know, to read some of the... Um, the during the case, um, the judge presiding over his case had mentioned, given the, um, given the facts before the court at the time, he said, I must say that I'm morally outraged by the facts of this case. The people of Taraba State uh, had elected the defendant, a clergyman, on three different occasions. Their expectations must have been high. How would he begin to explain to the people of Taraba State his actions? So this is the judiciary thinking that the people of Taraba State would have been so disappointed in what he did to them and how he had caused the, you know, lack of proper development of the state because there's so, they, they will tell you there's so much that happened within the eight years that he was, um, he was governor. And, I mean, there was so much that could have happened development-wise, but it didn't happen, of course, because of corruption like this. And to see these people go back to receive him with such fanfare is, is, is mind-boggling. And he also, in the paper um, today, was saying that he, ha he holds no grudges against those who played the part in his, um, in, in his incarceration. Like, okay, is there something we're missing here? <laughs> you have committed a crime. What I expect to see is a remorseful Remorse. person. What I expect to see is a community who, okay, we have received our son, but have you learned from your mistakes? How then do you expect there to be any change? In fact, there, uh, it's almost like the return, you know in the Bible, the return of Je uh, Jesus on the donkey and everybody was laying palm fronts for him to walk upon. That was what happened. And because also he's a clergyman, you know, people expected more from him and he disappointed the people. So what happened within the time that he has been in mm. prison and all that he has done that, you know, closed our minds right. and helped, uh, helped them forget yeah. the things that he did and the impact. Mm. And finally, one of the reasons why people like these politicians like this get this sort of um, 
um, well come back after they have committed a crime is that one, a lot of people do not see um, a lot of our politics, the way we see our country, the way we see governance is determined by your ethnicity, is determined by religion, is determined by all the things that should not be important. So you hear people say, it's because it comes from my own tribe. Mm. It's because of our ethnic group. Okay, we'll we're, we're, we're being mm. marginalized. Mm. That's why. We'll it's because it was not from mm. this party. That's why. Let me start with the origin, the, just your, your initial reaction. Then we'll come to those the deeper issues why people do this. But let me, let, what are your thoughts when you saw the video? Of course, uh, we're saddened. Because you'd expect that the same people for whom in whose interest the matter was charged to court, the people whose collective wealth that he plundered, whose interest the matter was charged to court, in whose interest justice was served, he was, uh, you know, sentenced to jail. And, you know, the people who's, who suffered the injustice of his pardon and release. And then, you know, so sometimes they will say, don't drink a day a parastamol for somebody <laughs> else's headache. The people of Taraba say they did not steal their money. We know that the people of Delta said, so, told us that time that their money was not lost. Mm. <laughs> but when the money was not repatriated, they now say that the money should be used from the state from which... So, you know, Nigerians <laughs> speak like that. The one that pains me the most is when we do this, these things in some unforgivable way. So there was a... Uh, an essay, a special assistant to the acquired bomb state governor, one popular actor, Moses Armstrong, who was accused and charged to court for the molestation of a uh, defilement of an underage in June. And, you know, the court ruled, the court struck out the matter that for, proper, for lack of proper filing, they did not acquit or convict him, mm. but they struck it out for, you know, for, for lack of proper evidence. What, what, they, what we call technicalities. And if you see the parry, he was at the time had been suspended from Actors Guild and all. He went on a film set. He just went about his business like mm. in this country of no consequence. How dare you call me something else? You know, in such a case that you'd expect that the system would pro profile and, and investigate and put his name in the register right. if proper work was done. But the man is working free today, so okay, I'm calling people pepper them. Hmm. So I wasn't surprised. I was expecting Ashwebi and celebration I got that it. our son that went to prison has come back home. Um, Taraba's history is very linked with this, this governor. This governor was the first ever governor of Taraba State since 1992, and then he came back again, and he rules the state. He has a strong relationship with the state. They don't see the issues. They're just saying, this one that has been so good to us. This is the politics of poverty. This is the politics of everybody in tip because they catch me. Mm. You know, so... It's the politics of, you cannot even accuse me because I know what you are doing. I know the, I know the lawyer ourselves. that is helping you to snatch money abroad. So be, because my own case, they were able to see some loophole and mm. I, I was the one that got convicted. So I'm going to forgive you for your deal. Those of you that did not come to prison to visit me, I will forgive you. Because mm. if I want to open mouth, everything will scatter. Mm. But mm. I choose to forgive you because all of us know how we sort ourselves as governors of the state. Mm. That is why a convicted, um, someone convicted of financial crime will come out and say he's choosing to forgive the ordeal he went through. Like, I don't understand. In this world, you should be the one that we are trying to forgive. The people of Taraba states that do not have access to good health care should be forgiving the government, former governor of Taraba State. People that do not have access to good education, that don't have access to good roads. People of Taraba State that their main state agriculture, but they do not have a capacity to export their goods because we don't have a governor that has put all the structure in place to give them quality life. Should be the one that should be forgiving their governor. But if you don't know better, what will you do? Mm -hmm. What will you do? If what this the politics we run, Mariah, people will say, I will vote for him because he paid he, when my, my son needed to pay school fees. He gave us school fees to pay for that's why I will vote for him forever and ever. He sent my children to school. Wow, he didn't, he shouldn't need to send your children to school. The school should be there available for everybody's Every child. child to go they to, know, they know but they don't think of it that way. So, we it is the election, is the po democracy of poverty that has brought us to the point where we are celebrating someone who has been convicted for financial crime against your state. All of you should turn your back and never talk to or even call that name. You say, this is a name we don't want to mention because we don't want to encourage it. What you celebrate will thrive. Okay, so and this man got celebrated. So what do you think will thrive in that community? So Anyhow, get into politics and still. Someone was telling me something because this scenario, if we amplify it and bring it to Nigeria as a whole, so you say this, we are saying this because we are educated, we know better, mm. we, we seem to have uh, better circumstances than those people who are running to the plane. Mm. Now, let's juxtapose that with those of us like us 
who probably live outside our country. Mm. They see us the way we are seeing the Taraba State people. They see Nigerians as a whole. Yeah, and they that judge me. They, like... they, they judge us. That aren't you guys seeing your leaders? Because they live in this nice Australia, they live in this nice country, and they're watching us with that same prison. That was that prison that we're using to look at the Taraba State community right, right. now. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're looking at us like, are we okay? Why are we voting in the same kinds of leaders? Why are we bringing in the same kinds of people? So, also, but we cannot argue with like, we know our country better than you. We live here. We know how these leaders affect us. So, allow us to decide the kind of leaders we want. Hmm. If that's the same rationale, I don't know. can we then say to the private community, listen, this is to you, he convicted or is a convicted criminal. But is he generous? But in our own community, he's our person. He's a generous person. He's, he's, he's extremely... Enough. So, now, so the conversation is, do we see ourselves exactly as we see the Taraba, those people that are, not, not Taraba, but I don't want to generalize, those people that run to that plane, do we see ourselves like that? Huh. No, I don't. It's quiet. I, no, 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 I don't see that. We, because we have right, I think that we need, to, no, we need no. to realize the fact that when you go on campaign grounds, if you count 10 people on the campaign grounds, eight of them were paid to be there. When you go for elections, oh, yes, when you count those that are going to vote, Majority of them are going because they know they have interest to vote. The general population isn't, isn't concerned with government. And that is a, that's the cross we need to bear. We, as the enlightened, educated ones that feel like we are isolated from the crisis of this country, need to take responsibility for the crisis because we are letting the people who have no understanding no decide who will rule us. No, they don't understand. It's not that they don't have it. They have a stake. Their lives are, are, are perishing. They are dying. People cannot go to a farm in Taraba State. They are largely farmers. They can't go to a farm because there's crisis. They cannot move their goods back to the city where they will sell it. They have issues, but they don't know better. So what they know is, if I go there, at the end of the day, they will give me 200 naira. I'll use that one to go and buy gari and drink. Okay, so let's not even make it about uneducated, inexposed people. There are I mean, people who are... I want to that point. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue mm -hmm. with this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Yes, uh -huh. thanks for staying with us. So we're talking to yes. Mam, yeah. Yes, so um, I was just... In response to Topper's, um, you know, um, opinion about maybe people are just uneducated mm -hmm. and inexposed, and I think it's beyond that. I believe it's very much about affiliations, mm -hmm. religious, ethnic, party, mm -hmm. you know, political affiliations. And some people feel that when you, when you um, arrest someone for corruption, it's mm -hmm. not about that corruption. We don't see the impact mm -hmm. and the effect of corruption as um, something that affects us all. We only see it as witch hunting mm -hmm. of those who are affiliated to mm -hmm. us. And that is the only reason why you find a group of people who will go there. Then yes, there are a group of people who really don't even understand what's going on. And all they would, you know, all they care about is what they may mm -hmm. get at the end of the day. Like, okay, uh, we have had many times, we are in Nigeria, where people are paid to appear at certain places just to give the um, optics that, you know, this person is popular or well-celebrated. And we have a group of people like that. But I'm sure, and I believe, and I even know of people who are in that Taraba state that do not agree with what happened yesterday. Absolutely. For them, they saw it as a show of shame, you know. And I hope that, and that is where um, elections matter. Um, and the sort of leaders that we put in place. And that is why everyone needs to participate in politics in, at different levels. You need, for those of you that believe that you see better, you know better, um, and you do not forget the evils that have been committed by the past leaders, have to e either vote, run for office as well. And we need to do better about reaching the grassroots. The grassroots is dealing every day with, you know, the security challenges, mm. the fact that um, education is not um, um, getting to that level. Healthcare is, you know, is hard to um, reach and access. That is what is like their main focus. And many of them really do not even have that access to the political players at yeah. the top. So what we need to do, you know, when you mentioned the fact that um, someone said the way that we are, the way we're criticizing those who welcome um, past leaders that have been corrupt is the way other people in diaspora see us. And I believe it's a valid point. But, you know, the truth is, if at the grassroots level, um, we are still this way, where we don't see exactly what is happening before mm. us, at the federal level, it will happen that way. And I just hope that these um, events will just open our eyes, all of us, yeah. so that we can do better. Let me take Yakub. then I'll come to Nima. Yakub, are you there? Yeah, my good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. And, uh, good morning to you all. 
Uh, anyway, for me, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because this is not the first time we all know that. Even here in Lagos, one of the deep chief of uh, one of the political parties, let me go mention people. But they judge, yeah. It was that when, news. when he went to, 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 to that house, let me call it house, <laughs> house of uh, deep boards. Because, Moriah, do you know that somebody that took a boat that was sentenced to prison? The place that they are going to keep that very particular person is going to be worse than the person is a lot of uh, money that made for ordinary citizens. Because these guys, if you look at them, if you look at that Johnny Yame, why did he even come out of that prison? Did he even look as if somebody that went to prison? <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. You see, Mariah, what is going to yeah, tell you this matter is this? I think our law, our, our, our Senate, our suppress, they need to make the law we are by. Nigeria city we adopt it in terms of China way. Because these people, I don't think they know that when you caught and then you were sentenced to death penalty, Thank you, they will not do that. You know, what, what Jacob said is so vital. I remember when my father came back from Kirikiri. He was in prison for, I can't remember how long it was. I didn't recognize him. He was skinny. Back mm. then, the prisons then were vicious. He, Beko, and a few others, the lawyers were thrown, the activists that were thrown in the prison at the time. And he was looking like really starved. Though my mom used to go and take a food, but he wasn't well. These guys came there well kept. Mm -hmm. These guys, so he didn't come from prison. He came from like, where they, they were just house arrest somewhat. Mm. Hmm. But go back to what Nima, which, um, said, which I think is valid. You know, this, the hypocrisy of our system. The truth is that those people who are celebrating are not celebrating because they are groomed. They're not celebrating there because, oh, he's our leader. They are, they, there's a connection. There's an inherent connection they have with him. Either he helped them, either they are colleagues, either they're in the same party, either that they are uh, the same, same religion. 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 There's something. So, as Africans, should we face the reality that this whole thing, this whole democracy, this whole politics that we talk about, yeah, it's really ethnic, it's religious. They mm. have this coloring that many other democracies don't really have, or maybe they have the ability to resolve it, but ours does. And the, the earlier we confront the, this reality, because we try to make, we conscript our democracy like it's exactly as it was given to us. But we need to modify it, because our reality is that we connect to, oh, she's my Muslim sister. Mm. Oh, she's my Christian brother. Oh, she's my from Southwest. See, Governor Kerry Redolu appealing that uh, it is our turn, oh, the, the, the presidency comes south, and now it's coming to Southwest. Is our turn, all of you. So, who is fooling who? When we keep talking as if that Nigeria, Nigeria, who is, how can we all just be realistic? Let's let us let us put the cards on the table and simply rotate it. Nobody gave and us we, democracy. And just, I, I just know who, who we are. Nobody gave us democracy. We copied it. We copied what style fits our sharing arrangements. Mm. So, even the British, they cannot claim to have a democracy. What they have is not a clear, free and fair arrangement. That one are for history. But you know. Um, Nigerians decided to go and copy the presidential system, not necessarily democracy, from, from America, because that arrangement of two house uh, uh, lawmaking uh, chambers and all of that are just sort of caters for, as we plenty rich, mm. we chop rich, you know, and then the cabinet, that kind of arrangement, really. So we, are just, we should not even claim somebody is pushing us. We are doing what we, we want to do. But you know, when we now think of that Messiah, because now we are looking at another Messiah now, I'm just looking at the system, waiting for the Messiah to clash mm. with it. We looked to our Messiah in 2015 and thought, ah, this one will come, and all these bad things are happening. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The same person is the one that offended me in this one. It's not the people that went to go and work on Yami. Yami will always have people that he has helped before that will owe him love. But the person that offended me is the person who abused the rule of pardon. Because you mentioned your dad now. Those are the people pardon was made for. Mm. People who had integrity, people who had a pedigree, who for one mistake or the other found themselves in jail. Not somebody, they were, those were freedom fighters yeah. who were jailed, who were arrested, you know, to Isn't shut them up. When people who deserve pardon are people who were claimed at one point to be inciting and mm. they found that they didn't incite, but they fought for the interest of the nation. Those are the people who deserve pardon. Not the person who have committed a crime. Mm. Convicted by Supreme Court. The hey. person who have plundered state's resources, who so. was tried, convicted, who went to, quest, to, 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 to contest Appeal. his conviction in the Supreme Court and lost. Mm. Ah. That person now deserves a pardon. Is the person that offended me. 
the president, president of the time can use his complete and total discretion. So, this is fine. Unfortunately, that one doesn't be debatable. That's what we are saying. 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 That's what we and today, every day, we call out government, we call out government. Mm. Tomorrow comes, and then I look at it and say, ah, know that we were childhood friends. <laughs> and we I use my discretion against the interest and the, the things people. I claim mm. to stand for. That's Maybe what we're saying. Hassan, are you there? Thanks for calling. I've been holding. I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. Uh, my heart bleeds for this country. In yeah. fact. And the way you are looking mm. at it, it's not about uneducated people. It's not about uneducated people. The worst part of it are the sacrificing educated people that influences mm -hmm. the uneducated people with money. This is a country of rented cars. We saw it happening right from about the era, mm -hmm. one million marks. Mm -hmm. We saw the looting and celebrated looters in the civil life of Jigawa. His son is now a gubernatorial candidate. You can see how we glorify corruption, how we glorify stealing. When Bonito came back in Lagos here, Obama and John was one of the people that graced the occasion. How do you rationalize that? The same thing is happening in Taraba. It's happening everywhere. So the problem now, the whole Wahala, he resides with us to resist it, not to allow it to happen. If you rely on educated people, you will wait forever. Good morning. Hmm. You know, while well, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So there's this tweet, and I is Rola Keo says, We are mostly psychophants and hypocrites, and we live in a country where justice is for sale. Indecent acts get the gold medal and the truth is silenced. A country of most religious individuals with dead conscience. Mm. We all know the truth, but act a script to avoid criticism. Oh. As in, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, that's like I don't know what to say. I want to say something, but I think that totally exactly. sums it up. Sums it up, you know. I mean, it's a conversation we need to have because I, there are too many angles coming to my head, but unfortunately I have to wrap up. But the truth is... We're not happy with what happened. I mean, I'm not generalizing that the whole of Taraba City. This is just, just, just a group of people that went to go and see him. But we're saying that we are all like that mm. in different ways. Always. You, we all do it in different ways that we can't see. I mean, the other day, somebody was complaining about, oh, the Nigerian embassy in the UK. If you go there, it's this. They, are, they, are just, they, are, they behave just like Nigerians. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's the process? We wanted to get a passport or something. I can't remember what it was. What's the process? And you go online. I called my friend. I said, that's the problem. Call you. <laughs> oh, your friend. You go on. You are just a problem too. Go online, register, follow up with the numbers on there, saying mm -hmm. that I've called. I've, you know, she's trying her friend to help out to fast track. Mm -hmm. You are. She's just cousins. This would have. You know, everybody, everybody knows. The different people are calling that same person. Yes. They hook me up. Yeah. They're all clogging up the system. Mm -hmm. Go through the normal channel. So we are all that. Those people. In different ways. In different ways. It's, it's the same thing. So the hypocrisy. Itself. It's easy to to, to resize, but all of us are doing it. Yes. The other day, this police stopped me. Who did I call? That, that, that I call you. Come around, um, talk, talk, please. Help me call. And I was doing I said, you know what? I didn't, I didn't call that lady. I just faced the police. I said, you know what? I didn't tell me call him. You're you also part of the problem. I didn't, you didn't send the number to me. I didn't call the lady. I just said, sir, what's the issue? Mm -hmm. Your clinical is not ready. And I said, sorry. This is, I now showed him the, 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 um, the, 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 the what do you call it? The license. Okay. license. That has been done. That is here. I've just not picked up the hard copy. And I showed it to him and he allowed me to go. I was about to call Aroga, something that I have the answer to. No, no, then he goes, a real nice guy. So all of us must call intentionally hmm. find a way to say, you know, we're going to be part of the solution, not the problem. Mm -hmm. Let me go on a break. When we come back, we have to wrap up on this. Bring in our guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>